New Audi A5 Sport back 2016 review. We get to grips with the all-new Audi A5 Sport back, but is it an improvement on its predecessor? Verdict. 4 star. Sharper, sleeker, and cheaper to run, the new Audi A5 Sport back improves on the outgoing model in near enough every area taking all the best bits from the revised A4 and molding them into a more desirable package. A BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe is still more fun to drive, but the A5 is incredibly refined, comfortable, and as a 3.0 liter TDI, at least mighty fast. The Audi A5 Coupe is a two-door version of a four-door saloon, while the Sportback is a five-door coupe variation of the two-door, which like we said is based on the four-door A4. Confused? Well, it's actually much simpler than it sounds. Acting as a halfway house between the sporty A5 and more mature A4, the A5 Sportback is a sleek, stylish coupe with a bigger boot and a pair of usable rear seats. It first went on sale in 2010 and now we've been given the chance to drive the second generation model ahead of first UK deliveries early next year. Like the A4, it comes with a range of tried and tested petrol and diesel engines, as well as a high performance S5 model capable of 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds. The entry level 2.0 TDI will take the lion's share of sales, but it's the more powerful 3.0 liter we drive here for the first time. Mated to the brand's venerable Quattro all-wheel drive system, the A5 Sportback feels incredibly planted on the move. Audi hasn't announced performance figures for the 3.0 TDI, but the engine is an updated version of that in the less powerful A4 which covers 0 to 62 miles per hour 5.3 seconds. The Sportback feels even faster. Eventually, all autos fitted with the 3.0 liter TDI will get the power increase from 268 bhp to 282 bhp, as well as the 20 nm boost in torque. New Audi A5 Coupe 2016 Review Using the VW Group's MLB Evo platform, which underpins everything from A4 to Q7, has allowed engineers to shave up to 85 kg from the A5 Sportback. It makes the sleek five-door feel more nimble on the road than it did before, with impressive body control through long sweeping bends. The light and slightly numb steering means it's less suited to quick changes of direction, but it's incredibly stable and easy to drive. It's amazingly refined, too. The sleek shape sees a drop in the car's drag coefficient from 0.29 cd to just 0.26 cd but the super quiet interior highlights a bit of wind whistle around the A-pillars and door mirrors. There's very little in the way of tire roar, though, even at 120 miles per hour on a stretch of deserted German Autobahn. Unfortunately, our test route was super smooth so any judgment of ride quality is best reserved until we try the car in the UK. The car was well behaved over loose drains and expansion joints, however, so providing you spec the optional adaptive dampers, it should suffice back in Britain. Not only is the new A5 Sport back faster and more fun, it's also more economical. While exact numbers for this 3.0 liter TDI haven't been announced, more than 5.0 mpg is highly likely thanks to its sweet shifting 8-speed auto. Audi has done away with the dual-clutch S-Tronic that you'll find in the smaller engine cars purely due to the big slug of torque available from low revs. Predicted CO2 emissions of around 135g slash km should shame the BMW 435D Strive Grand Coupe, 150g slash km, 2. It's the entry-level 2.0-liter TDI Ultra that'll be top of the wish list for high-mileage drivers and fleet buyers. Again, numbers haven't been revealed, but the coupe will do up to 70.6 mpg, and the aerodynamic sport back is unlikely to be far behind. On the outside, Audi's design bosses have taken an evolutionary approach to styling, with the new A5 sport back barely distinguishable from the old car. Line them up side by side and the differences become clear. The front end sports a wider grille and sharper headlights, but the swept back shape remains. There are some sharper creases down the side, too, while full LED taillights on our S-Line car give the A5 a distinctive signature at night. 
Interior quality is second to none and it's here that the big advances have been made. Only the Mercedes C-Class comes close, with plenty of high quality, luxury leather and metals dotted around the cabin. Audi's excellent virtual cockpit display looks as good here as it does in an R8 costing three times as much, and is an option worth specking if you spend a lot of time behind the wheel. Best Executive Cars to Buy Now The wide, central screen is well integrated, too. Unlike in the A3 which features a retractable setup the A5S display is fixed. It's better than Merck's iPad style afterthought, and all the functions are easily controlled using an up-to-date MMI wheel on the center console. The addition of rear doors does help make the sport back more practical than the coupe. There's enough space for two in the rear, though taller passengers will struggle for headroom. The middle seat is nearly useless, however, with that sloping roofline really limiting versatility. Behind the rear seats you'll find a decent 480 liter boot, which features handy tie-down points and luggage nets, too. There's no underfloor storage however, and the door bins are slightly smaller than we'd like. Standard kit includes 17-inch alloy wheels, xenon headlights, and three-zone climate control. Step up from SE to Sport and you'll get electrically adjustable leather sports seats, SAT NAV and a three-month trial of Audi Connect, while our flagship S line includes the more aggressive body kit, 18-inch wheels, LED lights with scrolling indicators and Alcantara trim. It also adds sports suspension, though we're assured this can be deselect free of charge. Key Specs Model Audi A5 Sportback 3.0 TDI Quattro S Line Price, £43,000, EST Engine, 3.0 liter diesel Power slash torque, 282 bhp slash 620 nm Transmission, 8 speed auto, 4 wheel drive 0 to 62 miles per hour, 5.2 seconds, EST Top speed 155 miles per hour, EST. Economy slash CO2, 55.0 mpg, EST, slash 135g slash km, EST. On sale, now.